right, let's make some figurative sculpture. So there are exa good examples of uh, figurative sculpture everywhere you look. Uh, they can be realistic, they can be abstract. These are some of the ones I've done in the past. In fact, I'm going to take you on a little tour right now throughout my house to take a look at some of these. This one right here was constructed uh, solely of uh, tissue paper and watered down Elmer's glue and two wooden beads. Um, but it's a mother holding a child. And I think sometimes what's more important than the materials is actually the positioning that you put them in, the gesture of the figure. This one's quite abstract, one of the hands reaching into the heart, the other on the head. Uh, here are some examples uh, which are not mine. These are from the Willow Tree Collection, which is very popular with people. Uh, pretty realistic in their proportions, uh, but never any facial expression, which I think is uh, not necessary with um, how well the uh, gestures are. This one over here I created using uh, twigs and sticks and some carving. Uh, I often see the human qualities within uh, nature. So here's more from a collection that I uh, created um, using roots and sticks and twigs. And oftentimes what I do is I do some carving or I do some <clears throat> combining of pieces in order to help people see the, that human uh, positioning or human qualities within some of these. I do realize that the footage here is pretty bad with the uh, <coughs> backlighting, but enough uh, to at least see the positioning of the bodies and get an idea. Um, there's a little bit better photos. Okay, so you can make one of these using anything, especially in a COVID situation. Even something uh, as uh, simple as some tin foil or aluminum foil. Uh, this is a great way, and even if your sculpture is not going to be, the finished product is not going to be uh, aluminum foil, this is a great way to create an armature. An armature is that framework or that original um, figurine that you get to kind of move around a position. If you don't have tin foil, you can use coat hangers, you can use a piece of wire. Uh, here I'm sticking on a ping pong ball just to get a little bit of a different look and start to think about who this person is or who this figure is. Right there I created a little uh, COVID uh, mask, of course relevant to the situation we're in right now. Um, so you know, think about who they are, what they're doing, what their positioning should be. Maybe he's screaming, ah, when's this going to be over? <laughs> Uh, toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, great things to start to create figurative sculpture with. Um, and once you get something created, if you could move it around a little, play around a little bit with that positioning. I mean, the gesture of the of the uh, figures is really more important than what it's made of. There, he's looking kind of stylish in his modeling pose. Um, <clears throat> or maybe we can go with something bit more uh, dramatic, kneeling and arching that back, or maybe even something more closed in. I can't wait to see what you guys create.